more than 75 million people in the Eastern Mediterranean region are living in countries experiencing complex humanitarian emergencies. Emergencies increase the risk of disease outbreaks. The world's worst cholera epidemic in Yemen has infected over 2 million people and killed 3,000. Every week, approximately 15,000 people are newly infected and their lives are put at risk. Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, first identified in Saudi Arabia in 2012, is another global threat to public health. It has spread to 27 countries, infected 2,400 people, and killed a third of those infected. The region has become an epicenter for other emerging and high-threat diseases, such as dengue, yellow fever, typhoid fever, Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever, and chikungunya. The list keeps growing. Outbreaks not only impact national populations, but are a threat to regional and global health security. Countries need to work together to prevent and control the spread of these dangerous pathogens. To support countries to reduce morbidity, mortality, and the socio-economic disruption associated with emerging and epidemic-prone diseases, and meet the requirements of the international health regulations, WHO has developed a five-year regional strategic framework to prevent and control emerging and epidemic-prone diseases. The framework is comprehensive and has been developed in consultation with member states and regional and global experts. It focuses on building the capacity of countries to better prevent, detect, respond and save lives. Diseases respect no borders. Combating them is our shared responsibility. WHO urges member states to adopt the regional framework. Let's work together, keep people safe and protect our region from these emerging threats.